Okay, guys, today I'm doing uh, $60 of quarters and $30 of nickels. They didn't have a nickel box for me because they've already given me my nickel box that I've ordered. So this is what they gave me. So I've got $90 worth of stuff here to go through. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can um, help. There's some people that's, that's asked for, they don't, really don't know what I'm doing. They're new to this. So I'm going to try to explain what I'm doing. Uh, of course, you know, we're going through, like for the nickels, for, for example, um, going through and I'm trying to find several different things. Um, the first year issue on the Jefferson nickel is 1938. So as far as what I'm wanting to find from the Jefferson nickels is anything from 1938 all the way up to 1959 and each one of them has has a mint mark on it it's either going to well they don't have the p on there p is for philadelphia d is for denver and the s is for san francisco um some of these are um uh well, like in this book here, it will tell you the, how, how many coins were minted in, in a particular year. So if it's a low mintage, then that, that coin is going to be worth a little bit more than, than normal. And if it's in good condition, it's going to be even worth a little bit more. So, you know, I'm, I, what I'm doing is I got a couple of uh, Jefferson books, and I'll show you those here in just a little while. Uh, I'm going through those, trying to fill up my book. I got two books, I'm trying to fill those up. And uh, and I'm finding uh, nickels, Jefferson nickels, from like I say, from 1938, 39, 40, all the way up to 1959. Now the nickels, the war nickels, are nickels from the latter part of 1942, and then you got all of 43, 44, and 45. On the back of those nickels, it will have a a big mint mark okay this is uh, this is the uh, Monticello or Monticello or whatever you want to call it on a war nickel it, the the uh, mint mark will be up here up on top top of the building usually uh, they will be over here to the right of the building but if it's a, a, a war nickel war nickel has 35 percent silver in it so those are going to be worth more money because they got the silver in it. Um, like I say, some some of these coins, like the the, uh, the 1950, um, I think it's the Philadelphia. I'm not sure. I have to look and make sure. It's got a very low mintage. They didn't make that many, and so those are more rare. So those are more, you know, you can get more out of them. Uh, I've got a big collection of all these nickels. And one day I'll, you know, be selling those to uh, coin shops and stuff like that. Or if I, you know, trade them off with somebody for some other things. So, um, that's basically what I'm looking at on nickels now. Also, uh, I found a nickel that, uh, before these nickels, before the Jefferson nickels were here, they were, um, uh, V nickels. And it's got a V in it, and they were... First minted in 1883, and um, um, I've got I found one while while coin roll hunting. I found a 1883, a first year issue of a V nickel. Now in between the V nickels and the Jefferson nickels, there is uh, the Buffalo nickels. I'm sure you all seen the, the famous Buffalo nickels. And I'll show you here too. I'll get them all out here. Show you what what the different ones are. Now, as far as the quarters, um, there's so many different things to look for, both in the nickels and any coins really. There's different eras and, and uh, uh, varieties and stuff. But mainly, first of all, what you want to look for is silver, uh, 1964 or older in the um, quarters they were made of 90% silver so those are going to be worth a lot more money than than uh, than face value of a quarter 
Uh, I think they're somewhere around a little over $2 or something like that for one quarter is what it's worth. Plus, if it's an older quarter and it's got um, uh, a lower mintage on it and it's in real good shape, you can get more for that too. So basically what I'm looking for, uh, my, the first thing I'm looking for is if, if it's silver. And then after that, I'll look for you know different uh, uh, lower mintage things or um, different varieties or error coins, things that uh, was a mistake that was made at the uh, at the mint. So that's you know the quarters, and you know I do pennies. I've done dimes. You know it's it's all the same. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna start off by opening. Uh, these nickels now I'll, I'll open like uh, uh, 10 rolls and then show you what I found and I'll open the rest of them and show you what I found so just stand by and we'll go from there okay <clears throat> okay this is on the first eight rolls and then I'm going to do the last seven rolls and I got some interesting finds here this is this is pretty good um, okay I've got a 19 um, 46 come on. there you go 1946 and that is a, uh, a Philadelphia right here is a 1946 and that's a San Francisco now uh, to find the mint mark on these you have to look right there that is an S I can't get too close anyway that's an S okay now the next I have a 1949 Philadelphia I'm sorry 1949 Denver and a 1949 San Francisco now we don't get a lot of San Francisco stuff here on the east coast okay here I've got a 1953 and a 1954 both of those are Philadelphia here I have a 1957 and it's a Denver and there it is I got a Buffalo that's pretty good it's not got a date I looked at it with my um, my loop and um, I could see what looks like a 2 in there so it's a 1920 something but it's 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 kind of worn it's a slick willy but uh, I'll check and see these two right here the 1946 and the 1949 uh, S and see what kind of mintage they got on that so if you hang on here a minute, I'll check it out. Okay, now if I look right here at the 1946S, which is this right here, the mintage on it is 13,500,000. That's not real high, because I mean, look here, 1940, 1946 Philadelphia is 161 million. Now look here at the 1949 San Francisco, it's at 9,716,000. Plus, I haven't looked to see, but it also possibly has an error, error on it. It's a D mint mark over the S. But that's on the D one, I'm sorry. It wouldn't be on this one. So, not bad, not bad. So far, so good. So, stand by for the next ones. All right, not too much on this last row, last seven rows. Only got two out of this, a 1953D and a 1957D. Both good-looking coins, but that that was it on that. Um, just hang on, I'll do my roundup on the on the nickels. Okay, I got uh, two 1946, two 49s. 253s, 154, and two, what is this? 
57s. And of course, the Buffalo nickel. So that's what I got on my nickels. Now I'm going to go to my $60 worth of quarters. So stand by. Alright, well those quarters were a bust. Um, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, I'll go through them and see if I can find any errors or anything. But no silver. That's what I was checking for at first. And, um, I'll, I'll check and see if there's any kind of error coins on any of them. But um, other than that, <clears throat> I got my my nickels. I usually do pretty good on nickels. But uh, I'm hoping that this helped with some of the questions some people's had about um, uh, the coins. I know I, I had somebody ask me, you know, what, I, they didn't know what I was doing, why I was doing what I was doing. And uh, hopefully this explains a little bit on uh, what I was, what I'm doing. So anyway, y'all have a great day, and uh, I will see you the next time I get down here. I'll probably be doing some more coin roll hunting since my foot's burning. I can't get out and walk around on this thing right now. But uh, I'll uh, as soon as that thing's better, buddy, I'm out there. All right, y'all take care, and we'll talk to you later. Hey, uh, one last thing before I I go here. Um, I've got uh, on my About page, I've got my email address, and I also have a PayPal account uh, on there. I, I didn't have that before. If, if y'all would like to uh, email me, uh, I'm trying to get a, a post office box set up, and... Um, uh, that way, if anybody wants to, you know, send a letter to me or send something to me, they can do that. I'll, I'll be getting that post office box here pretty soon. Um, if anybody uh, wants to send anything through PayPal, you know, to help with expenses on on uh, uh, making these videos, uh, it, it would all go towards towards the videos uh, and the making of of them and, and things so you know if, if anybody be interested in doing that uh, you know i would certainly appreciate it because uh, i'm i'm definitely on a very limited income and i'm not asking anybody to to you know fun you know <laughs> i don't know to give you know i don't want to do a patreon thing i, I just don't want to do that um but uh if, if anybody wants to give anything to the channel uh, I, I would appreciate it. You don't have to. That's no problem. Uh, just if you feel led to it. Uh, and like I said, I've got my email on there, and I'm going to get a, a, a post office box if anybody wants to send a letter, or, or maybe we can trade out some coins or something, you know, whatever. I just thought I'd put that out there, and... Uh, uh, do what it does <laughs> anyway I hope you enjoy this video I hope that uh, the ones that are not sure about what I'm doing on there you know <laughs> I'm not even sure what I'm doing on here um, I know it, it's a learning thing uh, I haven't been doing coin roll hunting all that long but I know um, enough to get me in trouble <laughs> No, um, I know enough to uh, to know what I'm looking for on most things. There's a lot of stuff that I just still don't know. And uh, I'm no expert by any means. But, uh, uh, but I think I might be able to help some of the people that, that don't really know what to do or where to get started. And uh, I'd be more than happy to to explain things to you if you you need uh, something explained on why we do what we do um, and uh, you know maybe I can help out that way uh, I love to, to see people in this hobby in this sport I, I, I mainly metal detect um, just right now I'm not able to go out and metal detect but uh, I'm hoping to here soon the weather's just starting to get good, and here I 
go and do something stupid and burn my foot. Uh, anyway, um, I want to get back out metal detecting. I love doing that. Um, and, and coin roll hunting. I really like that. And for you guys out there that metal detect and, and watch my channel. And don't normally watch my, my uh, coin roll hunting. I'd suggest you maybe start looking at that. That If it's a, a rainy day or a day where you can't get out. But you can do some coin roll hunting. You can do that any time of the day or night. And uh, it's fun. You, you can find some really neat things. So anyway. And enough rambling. Uh, I'm going to get off of here, but uh, y'all have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. All right, y'all have a good night.